Now let's graph y equals negative half x squared. And again, I'm going to use y equals x squared as a departure point so that we can get to y equals negative half x squared. And I also highlighted a few important points here. 1 and 1, 2 and 4, 3 and 9. Of course, on the other side, we have negative 1 and 1, negative 2 and 4, negative 3 and 9. And what's, what's going to happen with the parabola? y equals x squared if we put a negative half in front of it. Well, all y values are going to get multiplied by negative half. So there's going to be a reflection over the x-axis and the parabola is also going to get shorter. It's going to get compressed by a factor of half. So let's see what's, what that's going to look like. The origin won't be affected at all. It'll just stay the same. Oh, sorry, I meant the, uh, the vertex. The vertex will remain at the origin, 0, 0. And why is that? Because originally, the vertex was 0, 0, right? So if we multiply that 0 by negative half, we're going to stay with 0, stay with 0, 0. 0 times negative half, 0. Okay, so. Now, what will happen to 1, 1? 1 times negative half will be negative half. So now we're going to go 1 down negative half on both sides because parabolas are always perfectly symmetric. Over here we have the next point over is 2, 4. 4, negative half is negative 2. So we go over 2, down 2. Over on this side as well. Next point over is three comma nine. Nine comma half sorry, nine comma negative half would be negative four point five. So one, two, three, four and a half. The next point over, which is actually off the chart here, will be four comma sixteen. Sixteen comma negative half would be negative eight. So we go over four down eight. Down eight. Excellent. So now we can connect the dots here. Draw a nice smooth line. Hopefully, it won't look ridiculous. Uh, okay, that's not too terrible. The other side as well. It's kind of tough to make it make them look symmetrical with the software. Perhaps I'm just not good enough an artist. Okay. There we go. That that will be. It's reasonable, right? Hopefully. So y equals y equals negative half x squared. That's it.